So upon request, we're going to give you a glutes workout. Squeeze those glutes. So we have, we've asked a few times about uh, how do you get an ass like that? <laughs> and I don't know what they mean. When, when have they seen our asses? Oh, I can't think. Uh, yeah, I anyway. think we've seen our asses anyway. So we're going to show you, we're going to see a great glutes workout. Sweet. Let's get stuck in. <laughs> First and foremost, we like to pre-activate the glutes. It's all about the mind-muscle connection. Without that, uh, it doesn't matter how many squats and lunges you do, you just will not make that connection with the muscle. So we have to feel the muscle. This is an issue that um, football players, soccer, for those are, soccer, um, sprinters, if they run predominantly with their quads, these are some really sneaky moves that you can get to fully activate the glutes. And it's quite simply, squeeze. Squeeze. So there's different ways of doing this. Um, can't really tell I'm squeezing right now. No, you can't. So if you, if you turn around, grab. Basically what we're looking for is that activation. So basically, imagine you're, you're basically thrusting your hips forward and it locking out. So really squeeze the glutes. Now, if Brad was wearing shorts, normally we would be able to squeeze, see the, the, the glute squeeze. Glute squeeze number one. Squeeze it. Basically there's different ways of activation. We can do what's called a glute bridge. But what we're looking for is actually just activating the glutes. And we do that by pulling the head down and then lifting the hips up and do exactly what Rab just did. And that's squeeze the glutes and push up as high as you can. So it's nice and solid. And this will pre-activate wire the glutes and the brain to one. So we're going to do further movements Basically, your brain's going to say, right, the energy systems in the glutes are fired up. They're ready to help. Every time we, we lunge or squat or do any sort of leg movement afterwards, you should be able to feel the muscles working. If you're not really into training, that might take a little while. But eventually, persevere and you'll feel your glutes. So exercise number one is going to be walking lunges. You know, how fit you are will dictate how deep you go into that lunge. And if you're a seasoned trainer, you could add weight into the mix. Ooh. So Stephen's going to get this onto the back of his shoulders. If you've got a training partner, can lift it for you. Okay. We take the same walking pattern. Yeah, yeah. It's exactly the same, but a good trick here is keep the eyes nice and high because the weight will try and pull the shoulders forward. Squeeze the core in as you step forward and it'll help you stay nice and upright. Whoa, look at that form. Exercise number two is the classic squat. We keep the chest proud, head up, and we're gonna sink into the squat, pushing your knees out wide, that's it. And as you come up, you really want to be squeezing the glutes just like we did in the activation. Got a draft in my kilt. <laughs> <laughs> to keep connection with the glutes is always push from your heel. A lot of people will squat and actually rock onto their toes. That's just going to make you very thigh dominant, which you don't want to do. You want to stay, keep all the weight at the back and actually have about 60 to 70% of your body weight on your heels. So then we're sticking the, the hips out, coming up and then thrusting forward and squeezing the glutes. It's all about the thrusting. Okay, so again, so for a more of a seasoned trainer, what we can do is what's called a Romanian or a stiff leg deadlift. There's slight differences between the two. Um, but what we're looking for is a bit of a stretch in the hamstrings and the glutes. So we're going to keep the shoulders back, we're going to lock the shoulder blades together, and then we're going to pivot from the hips. We're actually tilting at the hips, stick the ass out as far as you can, keep the chest proud, and then we slowly come over, and we should feel a big stretch up the hamstrings. We don't bend the back too much, and then we lift up, and as you come up, you're going to squeeze the glutes as much as you can, and then we repeat the process. So keeping the shoulders pinned back, stick the hips out, and there, so Rab's got perfectly straight legs, his knees are locked out. We can do a slight variation of that just to save the knees a little bit. If you want to, as a slight bend in the knees, slightly wide with the legs, and then do exactly the same thing. You're still pivoting from the hips, you're just sticking your ass out as far as you can, and you're squeezing it at the top. There we are. On any great glute workout, you're always looking for that squeeze, and you're looking to get the muscles burning as much as you can. If you want great glutes, you need some blood flow into the muscle itself, which means repetition after repetition after repetition. Do it until you get wobbly legs. Let's get wobbly. <laughs>